goes outside. Not hitting the ball hard that time is Danielson. They'll go back to Jupiter. That's off the block. And does Hawaii get it? No, they say it went down. Oh, crowd doesn't like that. Up. This crowd of about 6,000 is all booing. They all thought that whistle happened way too quickly. Let's see if we can see how it goes in the, in the replay. Yep, well, that ball was up. That ball was up. She definitely got her arm under it. I don't think Dixon Chun had a good angle because the player's back was preventing him from seeing where that ball landed. They're going to let the call stand. 22-19 USC. Serving is Bateman. Dug up by Maeda. Ball is hit over by Hartung. Chased down by Fuller. Williams gets it across. Guy Hui. Mafua. Samuelson. Yes. Twenty-two for USC, twenty for Hawaii. Hawaii trying to steal the second set. Ai Hui serves it long. Not good for Hawaii's chances. The, the heroine of game number one, Liz Kai Hui, who I think served for 10 points. She served 11 times that time. Really needed to get that one in and couldn't find the court. Jupiter serving. Dunk up by Maeda. Step out, Hewitt. One-handed save by Jupiter. Ball comes off. There's a Kai Hui. They work it to Danielson. And she gets it just inside the back line. 23, 21. Her vision is uncanny. But she has eyes all over her head. She knows right where the opening is in the back row. They had a back row player coming up to get her tip shot. Serving will be Mafua. She gets it in. Jupiter chased down. The ball hit over by Fuller, and that ball goes out. The block was there, but they did not steer it back inside the court. It went out. So it is game point or set point for USA to tie this match at one set apiece. Serving will be Hagelin. Gets it in. Dug up by Kai Hui. Ball is hit over. Big advantage now for USA. For Noi Moana. That's blocked. Saved by Danielson. In the air by Mofua. Danielson gets it across. USC again. Ozark goes outside the fuller. That's blocked. So Hawaii not opening the gate. Goodman was there along with Hewitt. Well, the women of Troy had their chances there to close Hawaii out. So Danielson's jump serve works under pressure here. 24, 22, USA. Bateman sets up Fuller. That's off the block. Pancake. It's good. Ball is put over, but then blocked by USC. Put over in an attempt by Goodman. USC was right there with the double block to seal it in the second set. USC winning at 25 to 22. So we'll take this intermission. And game three coming up. USC has come back, as you see the numbers there, and they have uh, tied the match at one set apiece. 25-22, uh, women of Troy in the second set. Having trouble in the first set was Jupiter, and, and Alex Jupiter is, is really going to be the star, or one of the stars on this USC team. That happened in the first set. In the second set, she started to really become what she is, and that is Alex Jupiter. Everybody looking at how she plays because she's really started to turn it on. For Hawaii, Hawaii in the second set played well, but they didn't play consistently enough to come back and hold the lead. They were chasing the whole second set. So this pivotal third set is really going to tell a story, I think. It really is. And I think a couple of players for Hawaii have got to start lighting it up, and that is Chantille Satelli and, um, and, and Weber, Michelle Weber, because they've, they're getting some sets on the outside that they aren't putting away right now, and they, they're both uh, hitting for negative numbers, and that's not, uh, that's not a good sign. Uh, Danielson and Hewitt are having good nights, but 
they can't carry the whole load all night long. So in a long match, as we take a look at the statistics, you see um, SC hitting 227, Hawaii's 206. That's not bad. We expected the blocks 7-6 to be in favor, or 7-4 to be in favor of USC. Digs even, we, we expected that. Actually, SC getting a few more digs than I would have expected. Uh, service error is about even. Ace is about even there. So this match statistically about as even as the set score, one apiece. There's also a, a um, effect here called effort. And that is the effort that Hawaii has to have every single point, every single time that ball comes over the net, compared with USC's Good effort. And as, this, and as this match goes along, the effort expended by Hawaii is going to be that much more. And if it goes into a fourth game or even a fifth game, the effort by Hawaii that they have had to expend, I think, will be held against them. I couldn't agree with you more. Height definitely has an advantage the longer the match goes. Hawaii would love to finish this in four, come out and win two games after this intermission and be done in four. And if it goes to five, it's going to be, uh, I would say, be the advantage to the taller team. But you never can tell because we've seen the Hawaii team over the years, you just about start to write them off. You start to say, well, they're, they're really down and down now. I don't know how they're going to come back. They come back. Remember, Hawaii's got an extra player. All these people. All these people. That's right. Great crowd tonight. Great crowd. It is. More to come. And this pivotal third game looms. Here's some highlights of the, the first two sets. Katie Fuller had a brilliant first two sets, leading uh, SC with nine kills with shots like that. She's the sophomore opposite. And then Jupiter started out slowly with, a, she had, I think, two or three kills in the first set. She's got nine sets right now. Kanani Dennison, she's got 11. Going up against two blockers every time, but she finds some way to dazzle them. Brittany Hewitt, what a night she's having. She's got been in on four blocks. Even more importantly, she and Bafua connecting better in the middle, better than I've seen them all year long. She's got 10 kills. Coming up at the end of this match, a player from each team will be selected as uh, the most exciting, most exciting player award is sponsored by Bank of Hawaii. Do you see Maeda, Emily Maeda, out of uh, Roosevelt. We begin the pivotal third game, dug up by Jupiter. Hits it over, dug up by Maeda. Danielson hits it off the block, hit it right off William. And Danielson looking pretty fresh coming out of the break there. We're going to watch her carefully because she had so many balls in night number one, 74 to be exact, that uh, we wonder how she, the wear and tear is going to be on her body. Maeda is serving again. Maeda with a good dig after that hit by Williams, getting the ball over to Satelli. USC, Jupiter off the block, and it caroms cross court and goes out. Mafu would love to have that setback. She backs it, but not so ready. Satelli, she should have gone to the outside where Danielson was waiting. Tied at one in the third. Danielson. Danielson just looked at the situation, analyzed the situation, and said, this is how hard I have to hit it. <laughs> the muscle memory was perfect, and, and she her, got the point. And her vision was great, too. She saw that Essie had brought up a player to cover her tip shot, and she had only two players in the back row, and so she just drove it down the line. Guy Hui serving, and there is Jupiter again. Jupiter depositing the ball in front of Satella. USC leading, rather, uh, USC and Hawaii tied here. One set and 2-2 two -two in the third set. Satelli. Outside, there's Fuller. 3-2 to two in favor of USC. Fuller now with 10 kills for the women of Troy. Serving is Jupiter. In the air by Maeda. Cross court. That'll be dug up after that hit by Danielson. Fanoi Moana blocked Hewitt. Tough shot for Fanoi Moana hit coming out of the back row, but a, and a brilliant block by Hewitt and Chantille Satelle. 
Tied at three. Serving is Satelli. Dug up by Funoi Moana. And that ball is put down by Williams after a very short set. Dave showed you imitating Lauren Williams' tip shot as he threw down the ball to the ball girls with a dunking motion. Four serving three. Kai Hui, Mafua, Danielson, and the antenna violation on Danielson. It is now 5-3 USC. One thing that Hawaii cannot afford to do is play catch up for great lengths of time during the set. Trying to stay close here. Aglin serving. Fuwa goes cross court and block is Satelli. That took just too long. And USC was up and waiting. 6-3 USC, third game. Six three in the third, USC leading. They have now established the lead. And they're gonna try to ride it all the way to the end of the third set to take a two set to one lead in this match and force Hawaii into that must win situation. Haglund serving for USC. Hawaii needs catch up points here. Ball is it over by Hewitt. They go to Tanoi Moana, blocked by Danielson. And Hawaii cuts the lead to two. Tanoi Moana, the number one recruit in the country, is an outside hitter, really struggling right now at 6 4. She's got two kills, five errors, hitting negative. Danielson serving. Ball is hit over by Olgaard. And Hawaii with the, with the point. Oldgard that time followed through into the net when she attacked the ball. Oldgard, former player, high school player of the year in Washington. Danielson was looking for the tie, but that ball drifted out. And it's 7-5, USC by two, serving the USC is Fuller. Fuller hits it up. Six serving seven. Hewitt looking for the tie. Now's the time for the rookies up front to do the job. Weber, Hartong, and Satelli up front against that USC attack. Aglin gets it to Bateman. Ball comes over, but there is Satelli. And they work it to Weber. Fuller. Hawaii will return it. Mafua Satelli blocked. Mafua again. Hewitt behind the three meter line. Aglin overpass. Ball hit down. And in by Hartung. Hawaii has come back and has tied it. Moments ago, USC had a three point lead. No longer. Somebody's shoe has come off. And that is uh, Punoi Moana. McKaylee yelling that uh, the referees blew the whistle too soon and didn't wait for Fanoi Moana to put her shoe on. I think Shoji stood up and said, come on, let's play. Fanoi Moana off the block. Satelli goes to Danielson. Weber just taps it over. Diving dig that time by Fanoi Moana. Jupiter gets it across. Mafua, Danielson, right down the middle. That's dug up by Jupiter. That's it over by Fuller off the block point, USC. Well, everybody was ready to concede Danielson that time, but Jupiter said no. Yeah, you got to credit Jupiter for that dig. That was terrific. And Katie Fuller at the end of that play gave a nice swing out of the right side back position in that D set. Burnham will come in for USC, comes in for Fenoy Moana. Eight serving seven. Dug up by Danielson. Mafua to Weber. That's blocked right back. Weber did the right thing, trying to hit off the smallest USC blocker, Bateman, but Bateman stood, stood there and at 5'11", hung in there. 9'7", USC. That ball is out. So Burnham hits it long for USC. Hawaii stays close. It will be eight serving nine. Uyato will come in to serve 